Hello everyone, this is Joni from uh, Designs by Joni L and um, I'm back with another video on uh, jewelry that uh, I've been making and um, um, this might be the last one that I will make for a while and um, uh, because I've got some other things I'd like to do. So uh, I'll start out the same way that I always do by telling you what I do. Uh, in case there are some new viewers who do not know how to uh, make any jewelry. So, um, uh, the first thing I'll tell you is that I get the beads that I want uh, in my necklace and I lay them out on the side of my desk here um, in the order that I want to put them on uh, the necklace. And then the second thing I do is I take... Um, if they're going to have any uh, beads that have uh, the smaller mouth on them, uh, I get a needle with some thread and I put that right in the end of my leather cording that I'm using on the uh, uh, beads. And um, I tie a little knot in it. And that is so that uh, when I get to the smaller openings in the different beads, they will uh, come through much easier if you have um, a needle and thread pulling them through than if you were just trying to push that leather through. So what I do is I um, take my leather and I decide what how the length I want the uh, necklace to be. And I take that uh, length and then I uh, double it uh, in uh, the middle. That way I can see exactly how long each piece will be. And I like for my jewelry to fall around 20 inches, but you can uh, put yours from 16, 14, whatever, on down. And if you even like longer, you can have longer ones. And then uh, this one I'm doing slightly different than I did the others. I took the uh, cording when I doubled it, and I took it from the back of the uh, necklace through the hole. I've been putting them through the front, but I took this one and put it from the back uh, up this way. And then I take the cording and put it through this uh, uh, circle that you've got when you push that through this uh, hole in the uh, necklace. And um, then you just go ahead and give it a pull and uh, it will snuggle up close to the um, uh, jewelry piece that you have here. Now this is not one of the um, um, keychains that I bought. I've been making them on keychains, but um, this one is not. This is one that I bought. And um, I don't think that you're going to see much difference in them because uh, they're equally beautiful. This one and the ones that I have been fixing out of keychains. And uh, so um, with that, I'll just go ahead and start uh, putting my things on. The first thing I'm going to put on is the spacer. And uh, I have chosen for this one a little round barrel-like shape. Uh, and it will go down here and snug right up against uh, the leather. And then I will take the other one. And I like to do my each side as I go. And that way I don't get one side finished and see that I don't really care for it because if something goes wrong I can stop right in the middle of it and when I'm doing it this way I can see if I really do like what I'm putting on here because it gives you the full view of how the necklace is going to look and then I'm going to take a little uh, blue bead because I have a lot of blue and I have two different blues in the uh, uh, pendant so um, that will tell you somewhat of what colors you, in beads that you need to use. And um, so I have the blue and I have the silver in the uh, spacers. And then uh, I will have some other colors to match um, the different things. Colors in the pendant. And um, now that's, to me, that is looking very pretty. So I'll go ahead and I will put another 
spacer on because this, this spacer is silver and so is a lot of the pendant. And that just um, plays up the color in your pendant. Makes it look prettier. And um, you don't have to use as many uh, beads either. Uh, it's entirely up to you how many you use. And um, I think that that looks pretty right there. And now I'm going to take this pretty little bead. It has blue and silver and uh, a lightish brown and a little bit of green. It has uh, multicolors in it. And um, it's going to look pretty and pick up all of those colors that um, are in the pendant. I'm having trouble picking my needles up. They're, I'm going to have to start sticking them in something so that I can get a hold of them easier or let my fingernails grow out a little bit more to where I can pick them up. And I like those um, beads I just put on. I think they're very pretty. And they shine. They're very shiny uh, without having any glitter or anything in them. And there's another silver spacer. And um, then we'll take the other silver spacer and put it on the other side. And um, I'm really liking the way that this looks. I think this is going to be uh, one of my favorite necklaces. And then it has some silver down here and some sort of beigey tones. So I picked up this. Uh, beige-ish um, um, uh, ne uh, bead and uh, I'm going to uh, put it on right here and that will um, give it an added interest there because um, changing your beads uh, changes the um, look of the necklace and it doesn't get boring or whatever. So I try to keep them sort of mixing them up. Now I've chosen to put this little um, spacer here and um, that will be good with the bead that I just had on there. And um, then the, another one over on this side. And these are very fast to make, and uh, you don't have to worry about sitting and working and working and working to get them made. And with your uh, needle and thread, they come right on through. And this is a necklace, a bead, like uh, the last a bead that I put on. It's a mate to it. And um, here is another one, so it's going to look really nice over here. And I do like the way that this is looking because um, it's just going together really well. Then we'll put another spacer on that and lay this down. And we'll pick another one up and, whoops, about to drop it. Put this one on. And that even highlights those uh, beads that I like so well even more. And then um, I've got a bead this, that matches the bead that I put on earlier. And uh, so we'll have another one of that up here. And that will make it look nice. I want to get those pulled too tight. If you pull them too tight, they get sort of stiff. You don't want that. So just let them touch the other beads, but uh, don't push them to where they're so tight that it starts sort of buckling on you. You can just about tell what they need by the way they carry on, the way the beads act. Um, if they're too tight, They'll start um, trying to pull apart and everything. 
separate and uh, turn different ways that you don't want them to turn. Now here's another spacer on this one. And um, then let's see, here's the other spacer for this one. And we've just about got another necklace completed. Then I use this other little bead. These are so pretty. They remind me almost of uh, bowling balls that I, we used to bowl a lot. And um, we had such pretty bowling balls. I, at least I did. My husband just had a plain black one, but I had real pretty variegated ones. And uh, the colors were so muted and everything, and I loved it. There's that one. Now I'm going to take a different kind of spacer, and it's in the shape of a rose. So it takes up a good bit of um, space, and both sides of it are alike. And um, pull that one through, and that will uh, be ready right there. It's making everything look pretty, too. And um, I usually have a, quite a few of these types of spacers in my bracelets. And then this is going to be our last bead that we're going to use on this necklace. And um, that will um, just fall right in with the... Uh, other two that's down here. It will match them. And uh, it will carry the collar right on through up to the top of the necklace. So it's sort of you're following through with your necklace is what it is. And um, let me show you on the bust how uh, it will look. The bust is a little bit high for it, but um, that's how it looks. Um, if I can let it down just a little bit, because right here's the last of the beading, and you can see the uh, sides and everything. And there you have another beautiful necklace with, that probably took about 10 minutes to put together. And um, it's very pretty, and uh, you can wear a different array of clothing with this, or you can just wear a pair of jeans and a t-shirt. And um, you don't have to worry, because you didn't have to spend a lot of money in it. So um, then the, what I do next is um, I take the um, necklace and I just lay it down. And... Um, I uh, take my cords. First of all, I'm going to get rid of these um, needles. And um, I just cut that off, the little knot that I formed, and um, take it out of the uh, end of my cording. And uh, as soon as I get that knot out of there, it'll be ready to go. And then I put my needles right there, and that down there. And then I take my um, leather, and uh, I make sure that the leather is going in the same direction. In other words, uh, if one is twisted, turn it over till it matches the one beside it. And um, uh, that gives you a much smoother neckline with your uh, leather. <clears throat> Excuse me. And um, then you take that up there and you just, um, uh, that's a little bit longer right there, but that will, that will be okay. I can adjust that. Okay, now we'll smooth this back out. And um, take that, get it smooth, and then you wrap it around your finger one time and uh, pull it back through 
both pieces and then you take the bottom part and the top part that you're holding on to and then you just pull them like this and pull them quite um, snug. You want to pull tight. And then that forms a very good little um, knot that uh, it's not going to give with you at all. But I always leave these on until I see if it's going to be uh, giving any at all. And if it does, you can just form another knot there, a double knot. And uh, you don't have to worry about uh, anything happening with your necklace of losing it or anything. So um, uh, then your necklace is uh, completed. And um, you have spent probably maybe about 15 minutes on it, 20 at, probably at the most. And um, it's um, a beautiful necklace that uh, you would wear just about anywhere you'd want to go. And um, I hope that you do like the necklace, and I hope you like the necklaces that I have made during this series uh, while I've been making them. And um, uh, later on in the summer, I may make some other necklaces and things like that. But I think that this will be the last of my jewelry for right now. I may make some bracelets in maybe a week or so, but uh, I don't know exactly because I, I do have some other things I want to do. So I am going to say um, that I hope that you've enjoyed this. And if you enjoyed uh, the work and everything, uh, subscribe and give me a thumbs up. And uh, you come back and uh, we will craft some more. Thank you. Bye-bye.